Hi everyone! Welcome to the conversion of decimal to octal. While decimal number has a base of 10, an octal number has a base of 8 because it has 8 digits to represent a number. These are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And one way of converting decimal to octal is by using the repeated division by 8 method. In this method, we repeatedly divide the number by 8 until we get 0 as the quotient, taking note of each remainder. So suppose we are going to convert the decimal number 230 or 230 to the base of 10 into octal using the repeated division by 8 method. Then how do we do it? Okay, so here we have our division by 8 operation and of course our remainder. So we are going to start from dividing 230 by 8 and the result is 28. The remainder is 6. Then we divide 28 by 8. The result is 3 and the remainder is 4. And then we divide 3 by 8. The result is 0 and the remainder is 3. So when we get 0 as the quotient, we are going to write the remainder in reverse order. So meaning we're going to write the remainder starting from 3 up to 6. And this will be the equivalent octal number given this decimal number. Okay, so 230 to the base of 10 when converted into octal is equivalent to 3, 4, 6. So this is converting decimal to octal using the repeated division by 8 method. So we can also convert decimal number into octal by converting first the said decimal number into binary and then when we already have our binary equivalent of the given decimal number we are going to get the octal equivalent of the converted binary number so this is how we do it so let us use the same given decimal number which is 230 to the base of 10. Okay, so we convert first 230 to the base of 10 into binary. Okay, so in my previous video, I already discussed how to convert decimal number into binary. So in particular, I already converted 230 to the base of 10 into binary in my previous video and 230 to the base of 10 when converted into binary is 1110011 so this is the binary form of this decimal number okay so what we do next is starting from the right so starting from here we are going to form group of three binary digit. Okay, so we are going to form a group of three binary digit. So we now have here, okay, three groups. Okay, so this is the first group of three binary digit, the second group of a three binary digit, and the third group of our three binary digit okay and then okay after grouping three binary digit okay, we are going to use the equivalent value of the power of two or the weight of the power of two as our index okay so we have here okay 
the equivalent value of 2 to the 0 power, which is 1. Then the equivalent value of 2 to the first power, which is 2. And the equivalent value of 2 to the second power, which is 4. Okay, so in our second group of 3 binary digit, we also have here 1, 2, and 4. And then in the third group of our 3 binary digit, so we also have here 1, 2, and 4. So this serves as our index. Okay, and then after this, okay, we are going to add, okay, our index here, which has 1 under them. Okay, so in the first group, 4 has 1 under it, 2 has 1 under it, so we are going to add 4 plus 2. And the sum is 6. And then in the next group, okay, we only have here 4, which has 1 under it. So, okay, we have here 4. And in the third group, okay, so we have here 2, which has 1 under it, and 1, which has 1 under it, okay. So this is 0, okay, since there is no uh, binary digit here. So this is a uh, tantamount to having 0 digit, uh, binary digit here. Okay, so 2 plus 1 now is equivalent to 3. So this is now our converted octal Okay, given this decimal number. So, 230 to the base of 10 when converted into octal, okay, using this method is equivalent to 3, 4, 6.